Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia Dragon and I'm an artist who loves all things cute. As per the title of this video, it is a chatty little draw with me. I will be drawing a little bit in my iPad. I'm finishing July's Patron Rewards and rambling just a little bit about finding my illustration style and navigating consistency in my art as an online content creator. So feel free to grab a cozy little drink or some art supplies and come draw with me. So this drawing underwent so many impromptu changes, and that is, of course, the beauty of the illustration process. I spent the first half of this video working on Bunnaby, pink little bunny pictured here, but then I ultimately ended up redrawing them because I just wasn't happy with the proportions. It just felt a little bit chunkier than I had drawn them last month, and I was just trying to keep it consistent. Bunnaby is somewhat, I guess, of a mascot I've been developing over the past few months. I've been contemplating my shop's direction lately, and I have been considering implementing more consistent characters, especially as a complement to my character design skill set. I feel like lately I've been making tons of things that are cute and maybe on the trendier side, but maybe things that are a little bit less personable to me. And it would be nice to put more of like that stroke of originality into my shop. I feel like whenever you're running an art-based business, it can be kind of hard to the line between what you know will appeal to your audience and then just being original but I kind of have felt like I was following trends a little bit more than I should be. Even though I have really enjoyed many of the things that I've put into my shop recently, I felt like a lot of my brainstorms lately have been potentially at the expense of my authenticity and that was discouraging me from being creative and taking risks, which I think is an important thing to do as an artist. I don't want to stay in a safe zone forever, as I'm watching this, I am just thinking about how long it took me to kind of get the opacity and just vibe right for these sunglasses, but then I ended up redrawing this whole character. It's almost painful to watch back, but as one of my art teachers told me, if you could draw it once, then you can draw it again. So, and I ended up drawing it closer to what I had envisioned here. So sometimes when I think of having to redo work, you always think like maybe your first iteration was fine. And then as you think through it a little bit and find new ways to kind of like polish and refine, you find, well, maybe I could have done this differently. And that's sort of how I came and approach this character. As I was looking at pool floaties for reference, this yellow pool floaty turned into a sprinkled donut, which I think made this illustration all the cuter. I felt like after I got it blocked in that it was this really boring yellow circle on the center of the page, and it is the brightest and most saturated color in the overall scheme of this illustration. And I just felt like besides being a saturated color, it was just taking away attention and not really adding anything. So I felt like changing it into a donut added this really cute, whimsical flair. I am typically pretty meticulous when I design things. I like to have a process that I can then really easily visualize what the end result should be. But I feel like oftentimes when it comes to my illustrations, they really take on lives of their own as I finish them up and my process becomes a little bit more spontaneous. As you guys saw, I started with a thumbnail and a block out for my colors. And I feel like the general idea of the illustration isn't lost in the end result, but I definitely feel like once I get to more levels of polish, I start to realize that the illustration might need more embellishments than I originally imagined it would need. And granted, I am pretty new to composing pictures and I feel a little bit indecisive oftentimes when I'm drawing or finishing up illustrations. Of course, as I've discussed before, I have an animation background and a lot of time my focus on art was more so on characters. So I'm often thinking about how to design characters Characters and convey emotion in their body language rather than composing an illustration whose elements all complement each other. And some things I have noticed as I've made illustrating a little bit more of a common practice for myself is that I have a tendency to be pretty indecisive, and I also can't seem to stick to one style. 
which is definitely something I've been a bit insecure about when it comes to my illustrations. I'm so new again to it that it feels fun to try new things, but I'm also thinking about tying a thread back to my shop and the kinds of art I offer there, especially for these Patreon rewards. So some of the decisions I make, like deciding to go mostly lineless for this illustration, is just in thought of the things that I make for my shop. And maybe my thought about this is a little bit silly because perhaps everything that I make does have that Nia style so I shouldn't worry too much, but I guess I, I just can't help but worry about consistency. I don't think being consistent is actually something that any artist should strive for style-wise. But for whatever reason, I always feel this pressure to keep my work like a consistent thread, especially being an online creator. In fact, I think that's an odd result of posting my work online where there's a pressure to be somewhat of a brand with a consistent style. Okay, I switched to time lapse here because I, I thought I was finished. So I stopped recording, but then I went on again, like I mentioned before, to embellish so much more than what was originally in my thumbnail. Again, this is also the part where I decided to redraw Bunnaby because I just felt like they weren't looking quite right. Like they just felt a little bit chunky, like I mentioned before. And then I also felt like the face the face was really throwing me off and I didn't know if I was really happy with the sunglasses. I was just obviously very not happy with the way that he turned out. I kept trying to save it. Like I was doing all these little extra flares, like adding little shadows under their arms and like trying to give a little bit of dimension to them on the floaty. And I just thought, you know, without zooming out to look at the proportions initially, that maybe it was just something about the way that I had illustrated and finished it. But I ultimately decided like after adding a bunch of little extra things to kind of seat Bunnaby better in the floaty, that I, I just didn't like the way that they looked. So I just went ahead and redid it. And initially I, again, just felt like it was going to be a pain to have to redraw them because I, for whatever reason, this, this file got really crazy. There are a million layers in it and I had created Bunnaby on a couple different layers. It wasn't just like a matter of like turning off one and like redrawing it, it was like, here, let's go into this whole group system and hide things. So I was dreading it, but it of course was definitely worth it for me, even though that was also another separate lesson that I know too well, honestly. I'm not sure why I just went free willy with this, but name your layers and flatten so that it's not a nightmare having to figure out which stroke is on what layer. But yeah, and now I feel like maybe I should establish a little bit of a style guide for myself as far as how to draw Bunnaby in the future. But yeah. This was a fun little illustration and it obviously challenged me a lot. It's a lot more complex than anything I've ever done before. It also got me thinking about style and style guides. Not that I ever really want to box myself in too much, but especially when it comes to characters though, I feel like this was a great reminder that, you know, to keep some kind of consistency, maybe I should take the time to create a style guide. But yeah, just some rambly thoughts. I hope someone can relate out there as far as finding your illustration style on a public platform. I do feel like that is something that I'm really navigating right now. And while I'm enjoying learning the illustration process, that is like a thought in the back of my mind, but yeah. Anyway, here's Bunnaby in the pool for this July. It is getting really hot out there. So make sure y'all are staying cool. Again, this is July's Patreon reward. So if you'd like to grab a print for yourself or a cute little sticker, feel free to check out my print peep club and my sticker club on Patreon. This is also available as a free phone wallpaper. So head over there if you're interested in grabbing this design for yourself. Let me know your thoughts about illustration and finding your style online. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.